everyone and you're welcome to GBFM for today tutorial I'm Odurole Mojibola and today we are going to be learning about wealth I'm sure you have seen or heard about wealth before probably in cover shoe but in next class we're going to be learning how we can embellish and enhance the construction of our sanders and slide using a a welt a welt is actually a strip of leather or rubber or plastic that runs around the perimeter of a shoe outsole sit back and i'll be right back now the first thing i want us to know is that you can use any kind of material just like i said earlier a rubber a leather or a plastic as your welt now you can decide to use an ever foam like i have here as your welt you can decide to use crepe as your welt you can decide to use this PVC material as your weld. All you need to do is just to make sure that when you are cutting the strip out, you first of all take note of the perimeter of the so outsole that you are using. That is the first thing. Measure the perimeter of your outsole. That is the first thing you do. And how do we measure the perimeter of an outsole? All you need is a pair of tape roll. Now, just place your tape your tape i will advise that you start from this side when you are taking the perimeter of your outsole now let's say this is our outsole and we want to take the perimeter just run it run your tape rule all around it this way don't forget i will suggest that you create a mark on this side so that that mark will help you to know when to stop by the time you run it around it so we are just going to run it around this way just try and run it around you just need an average um, perimeter for it it may not be totally precise because at the end here we may need to run it over themselves i mean it may have to overlap on this side i'm sure you'll be wondering what i did to this one that there was no overlap i will show you just relax now let's go to this measurement now i have um according to my measurements here I have 23.5 or 23 point, yes, 23, it's not point five, oh, 23, this is 23 inch and this is 0 0.125, this is 0 0.25, so we have like um, 23.25 as the perimeter of this particular house. So measuring it that way, it means the strip you need must have that particular length, but you need to add about quarter of an inch on it as an added to it so that at the end of the day instead of using 23 you know 0.25 we can decide to use 23.5 so that by the time it overlap on themselves it will perfectly fit now i'm sure you will get what i'm trying to say as we continue what we'll do now is now we know the measurement which is 23 point Two five, which is an inch as regards the perimeter. What we need to do is to cut a strip. If you are making use of, for this now, they call it Nora in the market. Some call it a, a PVC material, which is also like a plastic. Now, what you do is make sure the length, the strip you are cutting has that particular length. Or, as I said, add about a 0 0.5 or a 0 0.25 to whatever measurement or to whatever perimeter your soul has. For example, if you are making use of this kind of a soul, you go through the same process. Just check the perimeter and add about 2.5 or a 0 0.5 of an inch. But I think with 0 0.25, you will be okay with the overlap. What I'm just going to do is, I'm going to cut out my strip. Now, if you go to the market, you find out that there are some already made strip. Some are made of PVC, some are made from plastic, some are even made from leather. So you can decide to pick whichever one you prefer to use for your sander project. Now, the, for the thickness, if you are cutting it out yourself, probably you want to cut it out yourself. You just you can just follow whatsoever measure that is on the ones in the market. For this now, is the width is about 0.5, is about 0.6, and the thickness is three millimeter. 
So now it means when you want to court, that thickness is not something that you really need to bother yourself about. Because by the time you place it by the side, the kind of beauty it adds to it and whatever kind of, you know, sander you want to make would determine how you know you how thick your wealth can actually be since it's just going to be a strip of leather or fab or leather or plastic around it so you are just going to you can work with that measurement you can even make use of a an ever so like this it is locally called marco here you can make use of this and all you need to do is to just cut that you need a straight strip you, it's not something you can say you want to be joining it together. You need a straight strip to cut this. So what you do is just cut a straight strip of that measurement out. And I will show you how we are going to now wet our outsole. Now, I've cut out my strip, which is made from my ever foam. This one is just a plain ever foam. You will find out that it's not the, the Marco sole. It's not the ever foam that has, you know, some grip. It's just the normal flat one that's what i cut out i've cut out the strip and i'm going to just wet this my out so with it so what you do is you first of all apply gum on the edges all around which solely depends on the width of your wear so i'm just going to on this on one side of it i'm also going to apply gum i will use my sandpaper on it make sure you use sandpaper on the edges of your insole as well and then as well on as on that side that you're going to be placing on your outsole now i would like you to know that for example i'm using this particular ever foam or some people call it marco what you another thing you can do is do you know you can wrap it with leather you can wrap it with fabric yes all you need to do is wrap it first before you put it on it let me quickly show us how we can wrap now what i did was I, you, you you necessarily i just want to use this as a sample just for us to see how we can wrap it in case you want to use whatever material you want to use you can wrap it you can wrap it it's just to beautify and enhance that your sander or slide now this is about one centimeter so the width of my strap that i'm going to be using here is three centimeter considering the fact that there is a particular you know the thickness here the thickness and then folding it over themselves before i finally place it on my outer sole so i'm just going to have applied gum here place it at the center ensure that it is at the center then you place your you apply your gum on this side again then we wrap so i'm just going to apply my gum and wrap now this is our you can this is what we have then you have to place it on top of it this way if you think it's too long it's too wide you can see that this one is covering almost everything you can decide to reduce that strap it is better you reduce it than for you to be having issues making it lay perfectly on themselves although we don't really need it to overlap themselves we just want it to be on it since we are still going to glue it down onto the outsole so we just need to climb over a little bit like this so that's going to run around it i'm going to do same for this side and it's going to just stay this way as you can see it we need it to just stay on it so you can see what i have at the end of the day this is what we have so this is what they will be saying at the side by the time you finally fix it here you can see this is what they'll be saying by the time i finally apply my go can you see what they'll be saying at the side of of your and so can you see this is what they'll be saying as you can see this is what i have at the end of my folding so if i'm going to place it i'm just going to start at this end i always advise that we start at this particular corner you know this part of your leg people don't usually see this side you know when you're wearing your shoe i always advise we start so we are just going to place it you're going to align it to your sole make sure it aligns perfectly well align it it will stay so many of those strips are not always difficult you know to arrange like this it will stay perfectly well 
and you yourself you will even be surprised how beautiful the sandal will look i'm just trying to use this to show us you know i've not applied gum on the i'm going to apply gum on it so that we can really see how it looks like you can imagine when you have the side like this and you have another you know entirely different color in between you can even have the same color as your choice whatever leather you want to use as the proper insole now let's go ahead and wear our outsole so this is what i have i'm going to place it like this and then just keep moving along the edge just keep moving just keep moving This is actually a, a beautiful way to embellish your sander or slide. You want it to have a different look from what you see in the market often. These are the little things you can do. And you don't have to spend the whole day cutting the wealth. You can decide to buy. You can buy and wrap it. You can even decide to dye it to whatever color you, you want. Now, as you can see this now, you will find out that this place are beveled it. What did I do? I just used my utility knife to try to cut it down. Because I want this side to perfectly lay on themselves. That is why I did that. Sometimes some people try to key it into it. But for me, I love to bevel it and let them sleep together. So at the end of the day, it's going to look this way at the edge. Hope you can see it. It's going to look this way at the edge. So I'm going to cut this down, cut it away on this side. That's what I'm going to just going to do. Then apply my gum and it will stay evenly at that side. I can now decide to just use my my sandpaper to just flatten it so that all of them will have the same height. So as you can see. This is what we have. Even if you wrap it, you are still going to have the same beautiful shape. You can see how lovely this look like. Now, let's quickly go to when you have it all around it without any cut. Let me quickly explain how you can do that yourself. Now, for the for the other one, for the other welting style, which is like this, that does not really have any kind of cut, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to make use of my square shape insole. If you want to know how I cut my square shape insole, check the description and you will see the playlist pattern cutting. Go through it and you will see that. See how you can actually cut yours out. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to measure out 0.6 centimeter away from the edge for all, as an all around this, my square shape insole. For the old perimeter that's what i'm going to just do so it means that i'm going to place my meter rule and just measure about 0.6 as i said or you can decide to you can use between 0.6 and 0.8 it depends on what you really want so i think i'm going to just use this and i'm going to do the same for all around the insole which will represent the perimeter if you want to use my style you can decide to go through it this way this usually work for me but if you are not sure, please don't try this. Like they usually say, don't try this at all. <laughs> so you can use your meter rule and just measure all around. If you are not sure, this will give you what you really need. So for me, it works very well. And for me, it's faster. You can use a divider. If you prefer that, you can use a divider just to mark that out. So... You can see what I have. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut out this straight away. Now, I'm going to use my utility knife and cut it out so that it will be very smooth. So what I'm just trying to let us know is that when you have a sew like this, all you need to do is to cut an insole, cut out the insole, like I have cut out this, my square shape insole. After cutting it out, what you do next is you, you just create that extension all around it just like I did and you cut it out. 
so it is assumed that this what before we cut it this is actually our insole that is what it means you already have a sew you have cut out your sew or you, you have an already made sew if you are making an already made making use of this what it means that is that you will first of all cut out the insole that perfectly fits this after that you are going to create that extension that i created all around it after that then you cut it out just the way i cut it it means that after cutting it out all you need to do is to place it on your cut out sew or on your already made sew you can see that this does not have any kind of cut i'm sure you can see how i did the the, the two styles of welting look at this you'll find out that you can hardly see how i finished it up just follow the same principle that i use and i'm sure you are going to have a beautiful result just like this if you have enjoyed today's tutorial don't forget to click the like button and please share this video for others to to enjoy and if you are new in my channel don't forget to subscribe and press the notification bell so that you'll be notified each time i upload a video thank you for your support and thank you for watching and thank you for those feedback i really appreciate them see you next time bye